back for more. Here I am. I'm like, uh, 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 uh. every two minutes, I quit. You can't. You can't quit. I'm done. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody else will want this. <laughs> I don't think so. We're back. Okay. It's day two. And after some much needed sleep, we realized that this is very unsafe. <laughs> we like to do things the hard way and learn the hard way. So the whole front of the trailer is resting on is resting on this piece of rotting wood which you can see has chipped away some more as we've been working. So really, we probably shouldn't have been in this thing at all until we blocked it up. But here we are. The thing's about to fall over. And now we've got to figure out what to do about it. But we're going to have to make it a little safer before we can do much else because I'm worried about the chassis. I'm worried about our safety. Um, Good thing we brought hard hats. Good thing we bought, brought hard hats. Nope, no hard hats. No hard hats. I, I feel like so far that this is basically like a channel of what not to do. There you go. <laughs> Don't do what we did. Don't do it this way. This is how crooked the floor is right now. And the chassis. So at this point, I am very unsure this is gonna work out at all. Okay. This is how much the house is leaning. Found some blocks in the garden. We're gonna try to dig up. We'll replace them and uh, use them to temporarily support the frame. We dug up as many blocks as we could find so we can essentially build a little foundation, which we should have done to start with. We built the foundation. We started prying off pieces one at a time. We have surmised that we believe a lot of this is being held up by that piece of plywood, which is being wedged in by the base plate. We should have taken this end wall down first, but we didn't know that. Now we do. Hopefully this is it. <laughs> uh, Anticlimatic. Now what do we do? We took a sawzall and we cut the perimeter of the roof all the way around and now we're getting ready to pull it off so we can expose what's under it. Here we go. We were able to get this thing off the trailer. So it was no joke, really hard. The reason why we didn't have a big generator is because down that way it's impassable and it's a lot of mud and you couldn't bring your big power generator. So we brought this, this little tiny power generator on that little tiny red wagon. It was so cute. <laughs> And that was the only way we were able to get this here. And as a consequence, for a little bit, we were losing tin snips on this roof. And it was a pain in the patoots, like legit. And then finally, Sherry says, well, why don't we use a circular saw? So we use a circular saw. I said, I think it could handle the circular yeah, saw. Yeah, because the circular saw failed with cutting wood, so we weren't using it. And that was really what saved us. But we're, get, we're able to get that roof off. And here we go. 
So this is what our final product looks like. And uh, what's so much and what's nice is that this uh, the chassis, that's what the metal part is, right? Is now straight, and you can tell that's not really on those bricks. So, so we are rocking and rolling. That is holding everything. That piece of rotting wood right there is like holding everything. They are slightly notched where they had a a piece of. I think that's just like a one by two running through them at the near the top. So we need to research and see if a two by four is notched, how much it compromises the integrity of the wood. It may, we may not be able to salvage those. Huh. It looks like a junkyard. We gotta clean all this stuff up. We have to get a truck back here. Even in the midst of all this, I still see the light of, at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like after all this time, with something that you're trying to rescue. It needs a name. And I feel like she's a girl. <laughs> so you're, good, you're talking to it? I was talking to it. She needs a name. Yeah, she needs a makeover. She There's so, so much potential. Things. Okay, let's get out of here.